water, the source of life and the foundation of civilizations. Many diverse livelihoods have developed harmoniously with nature, making use of the bountiful water resources rivers provide. A kaleidoscope of life and nature. The Mekong River of Life. The Mekong has supported the livelihoods of the people of the basin for thousands of years. Many generations have grown up and passed away, living their lives according to the cycle of the river. But the Mekong flows on, continuing to support the people of the riparian countries. The source of the Mekong is high in the Tibetan Plateau. On its journey to the South China Sea, it flows for nearly 5,000 kilometers through China, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam. Along this course, the river supports a diverse number of habitats and ecosystems. Two stretches of the river flow through Thailand for over 900 kilometers in total. The Mekong first enters Thailand in the northern province of Chiang Rai. This section of the river is 85 kilometers long. The Mekong enters Thailand again near the town of Loi. For the next 832 kilometers of its journey, it passes through the provinces of Nong Khai, Nakhon Phnom, Mukdahan and Amnadjaron. The river leaves Thailand for just south of the confluence with the Moon River in Ubon Ratchathani province. The rhythm and cycles of the river are infused deep into the culture and religion of the people of the basin. Although floods and droughts may cause much harm and damage, the people have built their lives around the natural ebb and flow of the seasons. Their harmony with nature is central to Buddhism, the faith by which the people live their lives. The river supports a large diversity of aquatic plant and animal life. For generations, the people of the region have based their livelihoods on this rich biodiversity. They hope that it will continue to do so for the generations to come. The fertile soils of the Mekong's floodplains also support the people's other staple foods, rice and vegetables. Over the years, the people of the basin have observed nature closely. They have developed a deep knowledge of its animal and plant life and know how best to take advantage of the harvests each season brings. Sot Jinarad, an elder from a village in Chiang Kong district in Chiang Rai province, recalls the days when he hunted the Mekong giant catfish. ก็ปีใหม่แล้วมันนกนางนู้นมันมาแล้วนี่นกนางนู้นมันมาเป็นฝูงตั้งแต่มันมาก่อนปีใหม่ครับสีหาวันนกนางนู้นก็นั่งน
พูดแต่สมัยนั้นมาแล้วนกมันมาก่อนเนาะมันก็มาเดือนเดียวนะป่ะบึ้งเนี่ยนันพูดสะพ้ากับมดอ่ะเลยเอาใจใส่มันทั้งตาทั้งน้ำนะเขาก็ได้ไปไหวเจ้าน้ำเจ้าตาเขาไปบนมันไหวไปบอกมันไหวก็ได้ปะบึ้งตัวมาเลี้ยงมันมันต้องมีวงสวงนะเขาไปเลี้ยงเจ้าน้ำเจ้าตานะก็ได้ปะบึ้งตัวเขาก็ได้ไปเลี้ยงเฮือกว่าได้เลี้ยงเฮือเอาไก่เลี้ยงกูน Sot remembers his early life. He says he learned his skills from his father, who taught him how to recognize nature's signs. His father taught him that each year, the number of giant catfish relates closely to the number of seagulls that migrate across Chiang Kong. The more birds, the more fish. But s o t says sadly, times have changed. His story is an old one, of the past. Nowadays, the number of giant catfish cannot be predicted, and the flocks of seagulls are no longer a reliable sign. Distance is not a problem for fish produce. Mekong people carry preserved fish produce with them on their travels. The delicious Mekong fish attract many gourmets, and the owners of restaurants know that Mekong fish will bring them many customers. Nowadays, many people from Isan migrate to find work in Bangkok once the rice planting season is over. However, the choice of jobs in the big city is limited, and they return home at the beginning of the rainy season. They are happy to plant the rice and go fishing again. It is difficult to judge how tired the workers get from their labors. But their strength comes from the tiny grilled fish caught in the Mekong. It may also be difficult to measure the nutritional value of the fish they eat, but it is easy to see that this food gives the workers much energy. Elder w i h a b u n y a s i From Tan Pak Nam Village, Chayaburi Subdistrict, Tha u t e n District, Nakhon p a n o m Province, tells children about life when he was their age. <laughs> บ่ไข